historic ruling today. The U.S. Supreme Court declares same-sex couples have a right to marry anywhere in the United States. The court's 5-4 to four ruling means the remaining 14 states in the South and Midwest, including Texas, will have to stop enforcing bans on gay marriage. Same-sex couples here in North Texas wasted no time to line up for marriage licenses. We're going to take a live look now at the records building in downtown Dallas. Crowds are expected to grow as the day goes on. Fox 4's Lori Brown is there and joins us now with more on the story. Lori. Dan, it is indeed a historic day here. I want to show you this courtroom that is filled with couples who have been waiting, many of them decades, to get their marriage license, and that is going to happen today. The Dallas County clerk said that he was not going to delay giving out licenses, even though the attorney general had requested that because he said that the attorney general does not trump the highest court in the land. Now, just moments ago, the first couple was married right here. They are George Harris, who is 82 years old, and Jack Evans, who is 85 years old. They've been together for 54 years. Then they first uh, met in 1960 when they said that it was a very dangerous time as a gay couple. They never thought that they would see this day in their lifetime. And here is what Jack told us just uh, moments ago. Segregation um, took many, many years, and we're still fighting that. You know, it's pretty awesome. uh, so uh, it's just it's come one state at a time, one person at a time, and that's all we're looking for is equality. We're not we're not asking for anything special, just equality and recognition and respect. So they now have their marriage license. One of them quipped, uh, asking if there was a senior's discount since they had to wait so long for this day. So, Dan, back to you. All right. Thanks very much, uh, Lori Brown, reporting for us from the uh, downtown Dallas County Records Building. Now, Fox 4's Melissa Cutler is at the George Allen Courthouse, also in downtown Dallas, where judges are preparing for several ceremonies there this afternoon. Melissa? Well, Dan, you know, after those licenses are um, administered over there at the courts building, many couples are expected to come across the street here to the George Allen building, Allen Courts building on the sixth floor. Judge Ken Mulberg uh, is signing the state's required se uh, a waiver for the state's 72-hour wait period in Judge Tanya Parker's courtroom, he told me, where the ceremonies will take place. It's significant to many that these ceremonies uh, take place behind these doors because Judge Parker is an openly gay judge, and back in February of 2012, she said she wouldn't perform any marriages until same-sex marriage became legal. Well, today, as we know, that happened. She is uh, has been hearing several other cases here throughout the morning. Uh, we were told that we will be able to uh, get inside and videotape some of the ceremonies if it is indeed okay with the couples who are actually um, uh, undergoing the ceremony. Once they walk out of here, Dan, they will be considered legally married. Um, in the state of Texas and elsewhere. So it'll be a big day for them as well as for many of the people who have been watching um, this unfold and the people who love them for this day. Back to you. All right, thanks very much, uh, Melissa Cutler reporting for us. President Obama spoke earlier today from the White House Rose Garden. He described this morning's Supreme Court decision as justice that arrives like a thunderbolt. It's a victory for gay and lesbian couples who have fought so long for their basic civil rights. It's a victory for their children, whose families will now be recognized as equal to any other. It's a victory for the allies and friends and supporters who spent years, even decades, working and praying for change to come. And this ruling is a victory for America. This decision affirms what millions of Americans already believe in their hearts. When all Americans are treated as equal, we are all more free. The president, who is now on Twitter, used the hashtag LoveWins. 
That's a phrase that's become closely associated with the marriage equality movement. Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton released a statement following today's high court ruling. It reads, in part, the impact of this opinion on our society and the familial fabric of our nation will be profound, far from a victory for anyone. This is instead a dilution of marriage as a societal institution. His statement goes on to read, no court, no law, no rule, and no words will change the simple truth that marriage is the union of one man and one woman. And former Governor Rick Perry also released a statement on today's ruling. I am disappointed the Supreme Court today chose to change the centuries-old definition of marriage as between one man and one woman. I'm a firm believer in traditional marriage, and I also believe the Tenth Amendment leaves it to each state to decide this issue. Uh, he ended with what he would do should he be elected president. Perry says he would appoint strict constitutional conservatives to the Supreme Court who would, in his words, apply the law as written. Well, before the court's current session is over, the justices must also decide four other cases. They include one on administering lethal injections that could affect how Texas and other states carry out uh, executions. There are also important uh, decisions on political redistricting, violent crime, and power plant pollution. The decisions will be announced either today or on Monday. And stay with Fox 4 for continuing coverage of today's historic ruling. We will have more reaction from North Texans coming up on Fox 4 News at 5.